And welcome to today's video where I will be going over the PCI 1 to 4 splitter. Have you been having issues trying to get a motherboard with more than 3 slots or more than 4 slots to work? Are you trying to get something to mine on but are just so tired of the 300 to 400 dollar prices for a motherboard with 8 slots or 6 slots or 16 slots? Cause I am. So. I ordered one of these from Amazon, it took about a month to get here, but I finally have it, so I'm gonna test it out today and let you know how it works. So let's uh, do some testing. Hey guys, future me here. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that this bad boy is now in stock on Amazon. The reason mine took about a month is because I actually ordered it from China Direct. Um, took about a month to arrive, but now they're on Amazon in stock. I ordered another one yesterday and it should be here tomorrow. I'm going to have two of them, uh, that way I have a redundant one or if I need to build another system with a different motherboard. Speaking of motherboards, I did find a nice 6 for motherboard, I'm probably going to make a video on that. Uh, here in the future, so stay tuned for that if you don't want to get one of these and just want to go the straight up six uh, PCI ports on a motherboard, but uh, in the meantime, these are in stock. They have been flying like hotcakes. It's very possible that they could go out of stock within the next couple of days on Amazon unless they put a lot in there, and they are prime. So if you have Amazon Prime, you're going to get them even quicker. I'm going to put the link down in the description below, but uh, let's head back into the video. I just wanted to pop in here while I was editing and let you know that they're in stock. All right, guys. So as you can see, I threw a, a rig together. It has four cards, so we're going to go ahead and test it. I do have the little piece in there. If you can see, it has two slots currently occupied because that's a 3060 and it needs to be in there and that card I just wanted to test out in the board. So we're going to go ahead and turn this bad boy on. So here we are on the test rig that I threw together. As you can see we have four graphics cards plugged into the machine and my remote display adapter because I am remoted into the computer. This motherboard only has three slots, so if this works, um, which it does appear to be showing up as four cards, this will save me a lot of money. These uh, devices themselves are about $20 to $30 on Amazon, depending on how fast you want it to arrive. I'll make sure to throw a link down in the description below. That way you guys can get some if you want to test them out. So let's go ahead and hit start mining here and see if all of them come up. which so far so good. It looks like we're seeing a 3060 and a 3060 Ti on here and a 3060 Ti and a 6700 XT on here. Now this 6700 XT just showed up today so I am going to make sure and get a video on it. I also got an XFX 6700 XT so I'm probably going to make the video on that one. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it for you and show you guys what it looks like compared to the uh, standard AMD 6700 XT and then we'll have a video later on showing uh, how, how well it performs at mining. You can see here we have both cards are showing up and they're mining. It looks like we're getting about 93 mega hashes through the T-Rex miner and we're getting about 95 mega hashes on the NV miner. I had the cards split into two because the AMD cards don't work with uh, T-Rex. So as you can see that uh, 6700 XT is just pulling 43 mega hashes. I don't have any overclocks or anything done on any of these cards. Otherwise the mega hashes would be higher, especially on the 3060 and the 3060 Ti. Um, we'd probably hit about 10 more mega hashes for both of those. So we'd have about 30 to 40 more mega hashes on the entire system. But this proves that it does work. I'm thinking I might go ahead and throw it into one of my larger scale rigs and see if I can get it to work in there too. So I just slapped it all together right now. Um, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six cards and seven cards in this bad boy. All 3060 TIs, all of them currently mining. Like I said, excuse me for the cable mess because I just slapped it all together to see if it would work. 
and it does look like it's working without any problems which is awesome so I'll go ahead and throw that down in the description below that way if you guys want to try and upgrade your motherboard to get three extra three extra PCI slots you guys can have it if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below